Hey everyone, DMV Solar Rider here. Sorry for the audio overlay, but the other day I had to change my schedule and I was able to get to a demo day at Indiana Fredericksburg at the last minute. Off I went, having given zero thought to how to present my rides, basic info and specs about the 2020 bikes and all of that. So I'm just going to share my rides with you. I'll mix in some basic specs and pretty pictures for each bike from Indian's website, where you can go yourself for more detailed info. Mostly I'm just going to share how each ride felt to me. Just keep in mind I've only been riding for a year with about 13,000 miles under my belt, 5,600 of them on a 2019 Indian Scout, and 7,500 on a 2019 Indian Chieftain Dark Horse. Hope these are helpful. If you're curious about these bikes, ride safe. Alright guys, second ride is the Indian Scout 60. I've never ridden a 60. My understanding it's a little less power, a little less torque, but most people don't think it feels that much different than the regular Scout. Give you the glamour shot, I'll put up the stats. Liquid cooled, 78 horsepower, 65 foot pounds of torque, 5 speed, electronic fuel injection, blacked out styling, low seat height, oh my god, seriously low. This is so comfortable, I miss this. I feel like it's got either the reduced reach handlebars positioned more like ape hangers, or they just raise the regular handlebars, I'm not sure. This is accessorized shorty slip-on muffler, louvered heat shields, performance air intake, fly screen, smoke turn signal lenses, Scout Pathfinder LED, reduced reach foot controls. Yeah, I can feel that. Reduced reach seat. Just riding with pegs is weird. It's been so long. <laughs> this bike feels like a feather, man. Well, these reduce reach controls even for my short height are too reduced I mean I'm like sitting like I don't know what my knees are pretty high up it's not comfortable unless you really need it seats more comfortable than I remember I think there's extra padding in this reduced reach seat God, everything about this bike feels small, tiny. The grips are so skinny. That's like the first thing I noticed about the big baggers was everything is just bigger and more comfortable to use. The grips are bigger, which helps. Foot controls are bigger. Such a beautiful motorcycle. All the styling is just right on. And this bike feels so light. I mean, this is this is basically the only thing different about this and the Scout is the performance power. But the bike itself weighs the same as far as I can tell. Same size gas tank.
race or anything, but didn't really seem to have any issue keeping up with the scout. And I think this motorcycle is like $2,000 less than the full-size Indian Scout. So if you test ride it and you find that it's got the power you're looking for, I mean, you'll need nothing else. For me, this bike, this style bike, is so much more pleasing than the FTR. I mean, look, if, if I could flat foot the FTR, or at least get the balls of my feet comfortably on the ground like I can my Chieftain, maybe I'd feel differently. I just can't imagine being that kind of an awkward position all day long. Nor can I imagine mo buying a motorcycle that you can't ride all day long. got plenty of pull plenty of juice it might be less powerful than the scout but it doesn't really feel like it it's exactly what I recall get those revs up into the 4000s 4500 it's solid get some vibration in the handlebars and the butt but that's just called riding a motorcycle God, I got so used to having floorboards. I'm so uncomfortable with these pegs. I mean, he says, oh yeah, it wants to be right around 4,500 RPM. That's true. You know, you get your peak torque probably right around there, but I mean, I'm in fourth gear, 3,400 RPMs, plenty of power immediately available no reason to have the revs up just to have them up makes for a less comfortable cruise you know unless you're in the twisties which is just a different ball game guys butt is gonna be in my video oh pull your shirt down oh <laughs> I don't want this guy's ass in my video man that's not good for children this is a family friendly YouTube channel pull your shirt down big butt man This is a great motorcycle. Oh man, I miss my Scout. Don't get me wrong, I, I didn't get rid of my Scout because I didn't absolutely love it. It's all about the neck, man. All about needing an uprighting, upright seating position. That was it. Oh, it's just so smooth. 
so light, light as a feather. When I first started riding my scout, I thought it was like a tank. I just couldn't. It felt immense. And this Scout 60 has plenty of power for anyone. I mean, if you're looking for a cruiser, you're not looking for a sport bike. So it's not like you need a big ass zero to 60 time, although I'm sure this has it. Can't be far behind the full size Scout. I'm not even putting this into fifth gear. What's the point? <laughs> Do I regret trading my Scout in for the Chieftain? Not for a second. I miss my Scout. I love my Scout. But I would not do that. But it's just awesome that Indian does these demo days and you can just go out, ride every bike they have to offer. It's sweet. Strongly encourage you guys to go and do that when you get a chance. Nice. Well, that's it for the Indian Scout 60.